hi all welcome back so today we are going to discuss a new different SaaS tool which is called as abacus.ai uh, which also helps in the wipe coding right so you can build the entire set of uh, uh, application and also help in different set of uh, uh, tools right so let us dive in and check what it can do and related part so this is the one which i told which is called as abacus.ai and uh, this has lot of solutions over here as of now one is chat llm as a uh, professional and small teams and for enterprise it has like uh, uh, abacus.ai enterprise so now you can see at uh, the chat llm you have like access to top ai models deep agent code llm and app llm so this is more like in your daily uh, for a workflow for the developers right you will have like uh, uh, maybe like a jira or maybe you have a lot of data which are present in the jira and also a lot of data which are present in the repositories uh, within the chats right like team or any of the other tools and you also have many other information now you if you want to collaborate all this information and give uh, uh, to the chat boards or related part i think that's where uh, uh, abacus.ai comes into the picture so now if you go over here it also has a deep agent which is like a uh, wipe code apps and interactive dashboards and it connects all your data and create ai chat boards and workflow this is the mind which i can think of right if you have a lot of pdfs in the uh, particular uh, location and you have a lot of data uh, which is in the text form uh, which needs to be analyzed and then uh, provided instantly to the set of users right then this can be used as a part of it it also has other platform capabilities like uh, data connectors vector stores cot prompting and prompt chains ai agent workflow real-time feature store there are many other things were there right like fine-tuning llms novel neural network techniques and all this related part right right so now you can see this is the one which i wanted to explain like it's like create an ai for your uh, organization right if you have an organization where you have a teams where uh, working on different scrum right at that point of time it, it can act like a ai brain right so you can see of all the day-to-day -to -day tools which uh, every developer works like jira confluence slack teams drive one drive uh, bitbucket or maybe like uh, you have uh, git uh, uh, you have uh, many other tools where uh, uh, on a project perspective you act and also you have like uh, something like snowflake bigquery and also have like salesforce right and other apps which are actual third party application which you may have integrated within your application right all this data will reside in this part but you need one ai brain when uh, you wanted to have a custom chatbot or ai agents or traditional ml models which connects the dots right so you also have many other models like customizable ux or sota plus voices llms and also you have an enterprise rack plus search right for example you have a lot of documents for each of the project and for the project you wanted to know certain set of information with a normal search you will be able to gain all those information right so this is where you can use that particular part and also there are many case studies which they have published like setup complex ai workflows and also you have like a custom uh, chat llm on your knowledge base right so you add all your pdfs and you search based upon that right and that is very simple simplistic part and you also have something called um, llms to perform a task on a computer right maybe like I have something called as a ai engineer building an ai right <laughs> so this is this is the coolest part so you have one chat one ai agent uh, and also you have another ai agent explaining what has to be done right so you can save over here execution results and all those things were there you can send uh, email replies and then send upload replies okay so you are, that means if same if some of the automations is there you can do via email replies and also the upload replies so that is one part and also you have like a plug and play code snippets you also have wrangle data at scale using the sql or python 
you also have a pipeline for complex processes and agents so this is mainly like you have uh, see pipelines main, mainly you will be using for uh, devops right or like having the build uh, making the build run and checking out and deploying to the uh, environment different environments you use the pipelines so now you wanted to automate that complex process via agents right so that is also available over here get a complete picture of your data in one shot right so this is one of the things we are like for example uh, uh, maybe like you have uh, uh, the monitoring related part so you have different mo modules inside your application now you wanted to know like when the actual customer uses whether he uses the complete uh, ai models within that particular part right so that also over there and also you can visualize the the streaming data in real time right like uh, uh, okay maybe like you can take a real example something like uh, uh, if you have uh, take an example of big bullion day or uh, amazon uh, prime day uh, you can see where the uh, what do you say like uh, requests are coming right where the more request uh, for a particular type of product if it is electronic product if it is a type of uh, uh product which is already there inside the uh, system on the entire geography of your uh, model right so and uh, how, how it can be catered you can see all those demographics uh, over here that you can streamline that particular uh, data in real time and also you can monitor and verify some llm responses and you can also connect to multiple sources so this is this is the most important part you can connect to uh, multiple sources which actually explains you or gives a, a proper data and chart uh, for a decision analysis right so that's how the abacus here is there uh, yeah this uh, it's it's like a cost of uh, 10 dollar as of now if you wanted to go ahead and uh, have some experience and so on with this so i have actually like uh, logged in and uh, yeah uh, still needs more uh, hands on with this tool so that i can uh, uh, give more information on this particular tool till then thanks for watching